So what brings you out tonight? Tonight I'm here to celebrate with all of my Soap World peers. <laughs> so what was the first soap opera that you ever watched growing up? I never watched soap operas growing up, but I was cast on The Young and the Restless when I was 15. So I was thrust into the soap world, and it was so brand new to me. It was really exciting. It was like something I had never been uh, immersed in. So, yeah. so, so what's that like? Like going from like regular life to like high school? All of a sudden, you're yeah. doing like theater at gunpoint. It, theater at gunpoint. That is hilarious. I was in school and going to Young and the Restless back and forth. It was the craziest year or two of my life. Uh, I ended up being homeschooled so that I could make it, and uh, I uh, it changed who I was as a person for sure. I feel like I definitely grew up a lot quicker than a lot of people my age because I was a businesswoman at 15. You're a professional. Yeah, I'm a professional. So had you done any acting prior to getting the show? Yeah, I was actually really into comedy. I had always done comedy, and then I started on Young and the Restless when I was 15, and I was there for two years, and then I walked away from the soap world, and I uh, went back to a little bit of comedy, and did some drama here and there, but now I'm on General Hospital, so I just can't stay away. I, I can't. It's addictive. It is. To the people watching and the people acting. <laughs> So, who's the funniest person that you've worked on with the soap? Oh, that's a hard one. I don't want to. I don't want to make anyone upset. I think Roger Howarth has to be the funniest, though. I think he has to be. I think everyone else will understand. <laughs> so, doing comedy, um, it's a it's a different muscle versus soap. Oh, yeah. it's different. It's just as difficult in some ways, but I've always thought I'm hilarious. So to be able to have people laughing at me, that's like just the best. I love making people laugh. There's nothing that feels that good. But now I'm in the business of making people cry. <laughs> that's, that's like a very important thing. Like a lot of uh, comedians can do drama better than like a dramatic act. You don't see like Daniel Day-Lewis like trying to do stand-up. That's right, yeah, totally. But you see people like Adam Sandler who can do both. He's amazing. I love that guy. <laughs> so what else have you got going on? You're on GH now. You've got some uh, some comedy stuff under your belt now. Like Now I'm engaged, actually. I'm starting to plan a wedding, which is insane. Are you going to have like a like an, uh, like an austere wedding or are you going to have like a comedy wedding? It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> Casual, fun, yeah, nothing too crazy, nothing like black tie. I want everyone to be comfortable, I, and I want to be comfortable. <laughs> so like a like a, a wedding with Uggs? Yeah, I'm thinking like under a tree somewhere. <laughs> awesome. 